Hi, I'm Christina Blake. I'm an SEO account manager and data strategist here at Steer Interactive, and I'm going to show you some quick ways to find wasted spend in your paid campaigns using data visualization. Step one is downloading your data. You're going to need your search keywords, search terms, impressions, clicks, conversions, and cost. Quick FYI, when talking about paid data, a search keyword is a word or a set of words that you use to categorize your search terms. A search term is what users actually enter into Google to make your ad show up. An example of this could be if you are a web store that sold plants and plant supplies. Your search keyword could be pots because you want to bid on ceramic pots and terracotta pots. But if you're using a broad match type, you could also be bidding on pots and pans. The next step is uploading your data. I'm going to be using Power BI for this demonstration, but you can use whatever data viz tool you prefer. First, add a table to your dashboard with the search keyword, search term, impressions, clicks, conversions, and cost. I also added a clicks filter and a conversion filter. That way I can focus any search terms or keywords with a specific number of clicks or conversions. And let's add a text filter so I can search for specific words or terms. I also included some scorecards so I can quickly see the total cost for selected search terms, as well as the total number of distinct search terms. Then we're going to create a scatter plot with impressions on the Y axis and clicks on the X axis by search keyword and search term. I'm going to set the size of the bubble by cost. So the larger the bubble, the more we're spending on that search keyword. Let's talk about how to read this visual. The bottom left quadrant shows low impressions and low clicks. The bottom right quadrant shows low impressions and high clicks. The top right quadrant shows high impressions and high clicks. And the top left quadrant shows high impressions but low clicks. This can indicate non-relevant search terms since they have a lot of visibility but users aren't clicking. This could also show that we have the opportunity to test ad copy. Maybe the headlines and descriptions just aren't resonating with users if the terms are relevant. Let's dig into our first outlier on the scatter plot, e-commerce tracking. Right away I can see a problem. We're bidding on DHL e-commerce tracking. Because we're a digital marketing agency, I know that we want to bid on terms about analytics tracking, but this term refers to tracking for DHL, which is a shipping courier. We're essentially bidding on FedEx or USPS tracking here. So let's see how big a problem this is. I'm going to search DHL using my text filter. And it looks like we've paid $171 bidding on DHL terms this year. DHL is going to be an ideal candidate for a negative search term for us. So let's back out and move on to our next example. Looking at these outliers, I'm seeing Google Analytics 360 pricing. I'm also seeing Google Analytics 360 cost. So let's click on these. A quick look in the SERP shows us that there's an answer box for Google Analytics 360 pricing and cost. So it's unlikely that this is a good term to bid on. It looks like we spent almost $3,000 year to date bidding on pricing related terms. Let's move on to our next example. This is a client in the IT industry and they focus on products for managed service providers, also known as MSPs. My first look is gonna be into this outlier, backup software. But when we dig into it, I'm not actually seeing any irrelevant terms. So my recommendation is that we go and review the ad copy for this keyword and maybe try some A-B testing since it doesn't appear that the current ads are resonating with users. So let's exclude this outlier and focus on the other opportunities. I'm going to look at this next keyword bubble, which is the broad match modifier for MSP. It's a keyword that contains over 2,000 search terms, so I'm going to drill down so that each search term becomes its own bubble that I can analyze. We can see that this single search term, the broad match term for MSP, has a lot of clicks but not a lot of conversions, but it's not necessarily irrelevant, so let's move on so we can focus on other terms. The next bubble in the outlier quadrant is MSP BC. I don't really know what this means, so I'm going to search Google to find out what results are coming up. It looks like MSPBC is short for Medical Services Plan for British Columbia. This is not relevant for my client, so BC could be a negative search term here. We've only spent around $70 a year to date on this one. Not a huge savings, but it's good to get ahead of. The next bubble is MSP Photography. I know this isn't relevant, and a quick Google search shows that MSP Photography is a photo studio specializing in school photos. 
We spent $57 a year to date on this term, but it makes me wonder, could there be other photography terms? Let's use the text filter and let's back out to look at all keywords, not just MSP. So when we filter for photo, it looks like a lot of photography related search terms. A lot dealing with photo packup, some dealing with photography studios. Most of these aren't relevant and we spent about $700 a year to date. So this could really merit a further look into which one of these keywords are actually relevant and which ones aren't. So let's jump back into the MSP keyword. In my table, which is showing all of the search terms under this keyword, I'm seeing a lot of movie star planet and filtering down, it looks like we spent over $2,000 this year on these terms. Turns out Movie Star Planet is a game for kids, teens, and tweens, and it can also be abbreviated as MSP, which is why we're matching on our MSP broad match. So my next thoughts are, are we then bidding on terms where MSP is not short for managed service providers, but for Movie Star Planet? The answer here is yes but we have to do some research on Movie Star Planet so we can find indicators for when MSP means Movie Star Planet and not managed service providers. A few examples I found are Starcoin, Rare, Diamond, Outfit, VIP, or Hair. All of these are modifiers that relate to Movie Star Planet, so I can negate these to help weed out terms where MSP is an abbreviation for Movie Star Planet. All in all, we found over $5,000 that had been spent bidding on Movie Star Planet related terms. We can also slide the conversion filter down to zero to find irrelevant terms. Searching through my table, I'm seeing a search term about flights. So let's enter that into my keyword filter. Looks like MSP is also short for Minneapolis St. Paul International Airport. That's another couple hundred dollars that we've spent this year on irrelevant terms where MSP was the broad match. So that's two examples where MSP did not mean managed service providers. So let's look closer at MSP as an exact match. It looks like we spent around $12,000 with no conversions. And when I look to Google to understand the context of this query, MSP, I'm finding Movie Star Planet, Minneapolis St. Paul International Airport, My Student's Progress. There are some results about managed service providers, but they're mainly definitions from Wikipedia. Because of this, I'd recommend either negating the exact match term unless there's a modifier, like backup or RMM, where the query has an intent for products, since the exact match for MSP is mainly educational. This client could also be bidding on this term as a branding strategy, not expecting conversions, but wanting to make sure they're owning the visibility on this term. And that's okay, as long as that's the strategy behind this spend and that expectations are set. Another way to find potential ways to spend is to filter to only zero clicks. Technically, you're not paying for any of these terms, but you can try to find irrelevant terms before you pay for them. Some search terms with WhatsApp are catching my eye here. So I'm gonna use my text filter and look at all the clicks. Looks like there's 17 search terms about WhatsApp, and when I back out of zero clicks, it looks like we've actually spent $1,000 bidding on WhatsApp-related terms. So that's another great opportunity to negate for my client. So we found $3,000 for Sear and over $20,000 for our client this year in wasted spend. And I hope I've given you some ideas on how to save money in your own paid campaigns. Thanks for watching, and if you want to learn more about how we solve problems with data visualization, make sure to hit the subscribe button.